All right, well, excuse the terrible, terrible video quality that I'm going to have, but um, I'm stuck exploring on a really, really crappy day. I'm going to try to show you a picture here on my phone. This is a picture of an old facility called the um, Kermagee Cimarron Nuclear Fuel Processing Facility. This is back built in the 60s. Um, this was a site known, known uh, primarily for a whistleblower named Karen Silkwood. And that building there is one of the original buildings. So Karen Silkwood, um, gee, where do I start? It's, it's a fascinating topic. If you haven't heard about her, if you don't know about her, you should really look into it because it was a pretty big deal. Um, Karen Silkwood died in uh, 1974 from a fatal car crash. Karen Silkwood worked at this facility and she was a whistleblower and she basically blew the lid off the fact that this place was building nuclear fuel rods and um, was not doing it safely. Now there is a gate here that I cannot get through so I'm not going to go any further than this. So basically since 1975 uh, this place has been under some type of cleanup effort and what's even crazier is somebody bought this place just a couple years ago it's some type of an aerospace company uh, I think it's called Stewart something or other now this road that I'm on here uh, winds its way back quite a ways and there's some other buildings basically directly like northeast of this building in front of you here this is one of the original buildings the only thing that's left back there is some foundations you can see them on google maps so there's no real reason to go back there this location here is kind of it's it's not hard to find but it's kind of like purposely not put on a map like these buildings are purposely not marked the address is purposely not marked it's really kind of obscure and uh, I think they did that on purpose for whatever reason. But you can see there's like old fences and, uh, you know, there's kind of a bigger... I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere. I mean, absolutely nowhere. I'm going to try to get a shot here of the outside, maybe. Hopefully I don't get rain on the camera. But, I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere. This is about seven or eight miles outside of Guthrie, Oklahoma. And Cimarron River is right there, so... This property uh, butts up against the Cimarron River and basically is east of Highway, I think this is called Highway 74, and north of Highway 33. So this kind of corner here, it's several, uh, it's probably about a 100 acre property that this sat on. But from 1975, basically until now, this has been an active nuclear cleanup site, believe it or not. So what's crazy is that somebody bought this and is currently using it so presumably they've been given the go-ahead that the ground level contamination has been taken care of but to my understanding let me roll up that window because it is noisy out uh, but to my understanding the groundwater in this area is still contaminated and this is only like seven or eight miles outside of downtown Guthrie Oklahoma and um, it's really kind of puzzling to me that, th that this building, first of all, this one of these original buildings is still up. They didn't just bulldoze this and haul it off, bury it in the ground, whatever. Um, it's a very interesting story. So if you're not familiar with it, just Google uh, Karen Silkwood. There was a movie made about her in the 80s, like a big blockbuster movie, like a, like a not a blockbuster movie, but like a, a big budget Hollywood movie made about her and her story. And she was a whistleblower and she died very mysteriously in this car accident. Um, she had an apartment somewhere not too far from here that was contaminated. So you got to realize Karen 
became contaminated herself. So this facility was making nuclear fuel in an unsafe way, meaning fine particles of nuclear material were being contaminated on their employees and being taken outside. It's kind of a big deal. And um, so Karen got contaminated several times and was decontaminated several times. And she was the whistleblower and she died in a car accident that everybody thinks is murder. I don't think anyone has ever been taken to justice for it, but um, this property, so the company was called Kerr McGee, the original company that was working here. And Kerr McGee, uh, I don't know if they sold it, but, or went bankrupt, but different companies owned this over the years. And like I said, up until recently, it was, had gone through several hands, there was cleanup efforts going on. And eventually, these other companies ran out of money. I mean, you can imagine having the bill of a nuclear cleanup is immense. I mean, that's a huge bill. I don't know how any company could really afford to be paying that and still stay in business. So, anyway, really oddball site. It's here. I don't know if it's technically Guthrie or not, but Highway 74 and Highway 33, the original building, one of the original buildings is still here. There are other buildings in the back, but um, they're just the foundations left. And I think there's some markers back there that I had found online about them marking where they had done some cleanup, but really, really weird site. Um, it's kind of an unusual place. So it's still here. Um, and I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I would not want to work at a building that was known for a nuclear disaster back in the 70s. I just. I can't wrap my head around how this place is still in use. I mean, that's just astonishing to me. I don't think I can zoom in at all. No, I can't. But uh, it's for, for lease. Part of this is for lease, so if you want to live here, you know, go right ahead. Anyway, thought it was an interesting side note for the day.